work from life. My memory is not accurate enough to fill the canvas the way I want it to be. I, I've tried, but I cannot remember these leaves. The way they turn is so intricate. It's up to nature. I, I tend to make the same curve all the time. Nature does it differently, so I, I need to really see it. It's a real opportunity to show in a hospital, and I welcome it since about the year 2000. This is my third show here. My last two, uh, one was of historical microscopes, and one was of uh, a similar to these leaves and flowers, but uh, I've evolved a lot in the five years since that middle show. I was really influenced to do this, these botanical subjects uh, by the Shirley Sherwood exhibit at the National Gallery of Art. She had a huge botanical exhibit, and when I walked through there about six years ago, I thought, wow, you know, this is, I can do this. And from that time, I focused mostly on botanical subjects, and that's been uh, more than landscapes, more than still lifes, that's really where I've gone. So I would say it takes about a week to make one of these, but I have to say that one of them was completed last night at 11 o'clock, so. <laughs> uh, I start by flowing a wash across the canvas. I transfer a 16 by 20 inch drawing onto the canvas once the acrylic wash is dry. Uh, then I go back in and add the colors you see on top to create that push-pull of the depth. Uh, some paintings, this one, you can see the wash. Some paintings, you can't see the wash at all. I've painted and totally covered the wash, but the wash gives me a sense of where the sunshine is coming from. I have experimented in other years with yellow at the bottom. Well, it's not a success because people expect the sun to come from the top of the painting, and they're confused, and you see the puzzlement in their faces. So one thing about the wash is it helps me focus on the sun, the shadow, where the light's coming from, so then I can go in and darken or lighten the leaves depending on what I am imagining sunshine falling.